Hello everyone, welcome again uh, to this channel and today we are just going to take a look at an IFRS 15 example. Here, yeah, the question goes, the following information relates to a construction contract in the first year. Actually, it's just the first year, just like this, and we are given the contract price, actually 8,000 here. We are given cost incurred to date. Cost incurred to date is 2,000. Estimated costs to complete. So to complete, uh, you also have to incur additional cost of $3,000. Then lastly, you are told that the progress is based on the, on the cost incurred to date is a percentage of total expected costs. So to know where the progress, the, the contract has progressed so far, this is what we'll have to do. Remember that you are told that this is the cost of the contract in the first year here. We are told it's the first year. So all the cost incurred would actually go to uh, actually go to the income statement, actually the statement of cost, cost of sale and the cost of sales. So let's start out A. We are told, determine the revenue, cost, and the profit that should be recognized in the statement of profit or loss. So it's just something simple. Actually, uh, we usually have a four-step procedure, but for our case here, we are, the first step is about the statement of financial position. But for our case now, we just end with step number three. So just because we just stop at uh, the statement of profit or loss. So this is what we're just going to do. The first step is to obtain the overall profit. How do you get the overall profit? To get the overall profit, you just take the contract price that is 8,000 and then you minus the cost, total costs. So far, is at the end of the year, we have incurred cost of 2,000, but we expect to incur further $3,000, giving you a total of $5,000. So to obtain the overall profit, you would have 800, 8,000 like this, and you will minus a total cost of 5,000, ending up with an overall profit of 3,000. So for any question uh, involving progress of the contract, you first of all would have to compute the overall profit or loss. Actually, we'll see all possibilities when you have a loss what to do, but right now we have the overall profit. So if you have the overall profit, you just proceed. To step number two. Step number two, you have to determine the progress of the contract just like this. So what progress the contract has reached. Now you just have to go to the question and read what you have been told. From the question we are told that progress is based on is based as a percentage of total of cost incurred over total expected costs. So you just take cost incurred, then you divide it by total expected cost. Cost incurred to date is 2,000. You divide by total cost, that is 2,000 plus 3,000, giving you a total of 5,000. So to know the progress of the contract, you would have to take cost to date, divided by total cost, that is 2,000 over 5,000, giving you 40%. So it's at the end of the first year, we have fulfilled our contract by 40%. And so we're entitled to record out of total costs, 40% of the cost, but also 40% of the revenue. So let's go to recognition. Simply speaking here, we are just going to the statement of profit or loss. So it's for the statement of profit or loss, you have to recognize revenue as well as cost of sales. So what do we do? If you need to obtain revenue, you take the 40% completed times the contract price. This was the contract price, 8,000 times 40%, and you obtain 3,200. But you have to note one thing here. You know, when speaking of revenue, we speak of the re something that has been recognized in a year, during one year. So simply speaking here, you have to take the increase in percentage, increase in percentage. So since we started, we had completed 0%. So it's 40% minus 0%. That remains at 40, and then you multiply by 8,000. So you have to be very careful about that. It's not just 40%. Just take 40% minus 0%, and you obtain 40, then you multiply by 8,000. You repeat the same for cost of sales. You take total cost in card today, total cost in card for the contract, that is... 2,000 plus 3,000, and you obtain 5,000. So you take 5,000 and multiply by 40% again. Now, as for cost of sales, you also take, you also multiply by the increase in percentage, not, not just percentage, but increase in percentage. So you take five, you, you have to take uh, 8,000, 
5,000 times 40 minus 0 percent. 40 percent minus 0 percent would remain with 40 percent. And if you multiply that, you obtain 2,000. So revenue of 3,200 3, minus 2,000, you, you, you remain with a profit of 1,200. So actually, in the income statement, you would have to show revenue of 3,200 and the cost of sales of 2,000. Now, this is what we do. Now, let's just go and take a look at the second possibility here. We'll just go to part B. And actually, uh, just come to, to the next video uh, to take a look at how we proceed with this part B. So stay tuned up to here.